In this video, I'm going to show you how you can locally install a Lava version 1.5 model on Windows and also on Linux locally quite easily. Before I do that, let me quickly introduce you what exactly this model is. Lava 1.5 achieves SOTA on 11 benchmarks with just simple modification to the original Lava model. Original Lava is stands for Large Language and Vision Assistant. Lava represents a novel end-to-end -end trained large multimodal model that combines a vision encoder and Vicuna for general purpose visual and language understanding. It achieves impressive chat capabilities and mimics spirits of multimodal GPT-4 and sets a new state-of-the-art accuracy on science question and answer. As you know that instruction tuning LLMs use machine generated instruction following data. And this is where this lava shines. The researchers of this model says that this is the first attempt to use language only GPT-4 to generate multimodal language image instruction following. Encoder. Also, their early experiments show that lava demonstrate impressive multimodal chat capabilities, as I mentioned earlier. Now, there are a lot of things which are quite cool about this, and I will drop the link to their GitHub repo, which you can um, browse at your leisure. Let me also quickly show you. So I am just opening it here. So this is their GitHub uh, repo, where there is a lot of information you, which you can read through, including this um, demo. And let me take you here, where they are showing each subset. Uh, where they are visualizing the root noun verb pairs for the instruction and response. And there are a lot of other things like how exactly the stages work in this. For example, there's stage one for pre-training for feature alignment, and then there's stage two for fine tuning end to end. So I will drop the link to it in video's description. Now let me show you how you can install it locally on your Windows system. For that, I'll be using Bloke's quantized version, as you can see on your screen. And thanks to Bloke for producing it. The tool which I'm going to use for it is called as LM Studio. If you don't know what LM Studio is, I will have a detailed video as how to install it, what exactly it does in. Um, and you can find the link in video's description. OK, now let's search for this model. So let me. OK, I already searched it, but let me start tell you how to search it. Go to the home page on top left. Just write here lava-v 1.5 and press enter. And there you go. These are the models which have been recently updated, such as lava-1, this one, uh, and this one. Now, on the right hand side, you see that it says um, that it should work, which is cool. So let's give it a try. and. I normally go with Quantize 5.1, so let me try it. Click on download here. And on the bottom section, it has started downloading. Let's wait for it to finish. The file size is around 9.23 gig. Let's wait for it to download. Model is almost done. It has taken a bit of a time to download. Should be done any minute. So let's wait for it to finish and then we will Try to use it on Windows. And just to give you the spec of my system, so it is my local laptop which I'm using. It has one GPU with around 16 uh, GP of GPU RAM, plus I have around 30 gig of local memory. So it's quite a beefy laptop, and I believe that this should be good enough for this. If you are using CPU, make sure it is a good one. Okay, so while we were speaking, that is done. Click on the folder icon on the left hand side, and this is a file which we have uh, downloaded. And now, if uh, in order to see it and load it, click on these three icons in the middle, click on select the model to load, and then select this model. If it gets loaded correctly, it means it is usable on Windows. If not, then tough luck. But let's see, so far, so good. And on the top left, you can see that uh, your memory consumption, so this uh, much memory you should need. It has already climbed up to around 7.6 gig, and that's good enough.
now let me drag this uh, down just to make sure we have it the chat window so our model is loaded now let's chat with it i'm just going to ask it what is the region encoder in lava model let's see if it is aware of itself it is processing it let's wait for it to generate the response it is printing out the response that llama model learning to learn with adaptive models and then so on and so forth i'm not sure if it is the right answer but it is doing it unfortunately in lm studio we cannot upload image and then talk with it uh, while it prints this response, let us let me show you one thing. So the way this Lava models work is that you give it an image and then you ask on questions about that image. So for example, in this one, the user has uploaded an image of Mona Lisa and then the user is asking, do you know who drew this painting? Model was able to detect the image, understood it, and then it is telling it that it was done by leonardo da vinci which is the correct answer i haven't really found a way to upload an image to lm studio as of yet if you know about it let me know and i'll be happy to put it the image and show you but as you can see here it is the uh, response still is quite good enough where it is telling us what is exactly the vision encoder where it has come from and then so on and so forth pretty cool so this is how you can install it in windows and then chat um, from it now let me show you the code of how you can do it on your Linux instance. For the Linux instance, I'm going to use this Google Colab, but the same commands you can use or uh, use them on any Linux instance locally. So first, let's install the Transformers library. It uh, it is required for a lot of things, so it's always a good idea to get it installed first. Let's wait for it to come back. It shouldn't take too long, in my opinion. Yep, it's running. Let's wait for it to finish. Transformers is done. Now let's also install the Optimum, which is always quite handy. Let's should be done fairly quickly. It's a small one. Let's wait for it to finish. And because it's a quantized version, so next step is to install the Auto GPTQ. Should be done any minute. That's done. Let's first git clone the auto GPTQ because I'm building it from the source. Otherwise, it really doesn't work properly. Let's cd to that directory. That's done. And now let's check out the stable version of it. Let me put exclamation mark in front of it. That's done. And now let's install everything in this repo. Let's install it and wait for it to finish. It takes around a couple of minutes, so let's wait. Let's scroll down a bit to see when it finishes. It's still building the wheel, so let's wait. Auto GPTQ is done, thankfully. And now let's let me show you the code. So this is the code which will download this model lava 1.5 13 billion gptq and then from here it is going to put it in the pipeline after generating the tokenizer and i'm asking it the same question what is a vision encoder in lava model so let's see how it goes so let me run it it is first importing the transfer libraries from the transformer and then we are specifying our model from blog by the way in the windows one i didn't use the blog's quantized version but let's see. So it has failed here. Let's see what it is saying. It is saying. Okay, so it is saying that we need to upgrade our version of Auto GPTQ. So let me see if I could update it. So I have uninstalled this Auto GPTQ, and now I have installed the just Auto GPTQ, and it is doing 0.5. Uh, point zero point five point zero, and if you look at the error message, it was complaining about only version above point four point nine nine. So this is apparently a better version. So let's see. Let me grab it again, and then go here. And then let's try to run it again. Maybe oh, just tell me. Just let me do it here again. 
and then let's run it to see if it works or not. Okay, so it is still let me restart it uh, the notebook and then try again. I have restarted the notebook and when I say pip show auto GPTQ, it is showing 0.5 version, which is the latest one, I believe. Let's try to run it the code one last time. Let me run it. If not, then I will create a new Linux instance instead of notebook and maybe create another video, but let's see. Let's so just importing it, all the modules, and then it should select the quantized version from block. Let's wait. It gave error last name on this line. Let's see, okay. This time it is working, thankfully. The sun is still shining, which is great. And you can see that the model size from block is 7.26, which is cool. Let's wait for it to finish. Model is almost downloaded. It is at almost done. So let's wait for it to finish. It will be consolidating the shards afterwards. It is 100% downloaded. And then just doing some post-processing work. So let's wait for it to finish here. Okay, so the model is downloaded and now I'm asking it what is um, we encoded lava model and stuff and then I think we can if we uh, put it here it should give us the output but it hasn't let's see if it is able to print it here or not so it is only um, printing it here and how to use it that's the output I'm getting from the quantized version but that is fine so this is it guys, these are the commands to install it in Linux and we already have seen the Windows one. So this is pretty much it. If you have any questions or if you're stuck, uh, let me know. In the next few videos, I'll be playing around with this model to show you how exactly you can play around with images. Just need to figure out the proper tool for it. Uh, I have another video where I discuss and show how to actually talk with the actual Lava model instead of this one. So if you are interested, search for it. So this is it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Thank you very much.